local way today. So we read about this market that we haven't been to before. It's supposed to have some excellent street food and it's on the other side of the river in Bangkok. So that's why we just took this group taxi to the Saturn Pier and from here we will take a ferry to the other side. Our mission today is to eat as much street food as possible that we haven't tried before. Hi, I'm Zoe. And I'm Simon. And since our first trip together over a decade ago, we've taken every opportunity we can get to travel, explore new countries and try new food. This year we left our jobs and rented out our flat to start a new long-term trip beginning in Asia, where we'll be diving deep into the multitude of cultures and cuisines. A Wang Lang ferry? Got our tickets and hope we bought the right ones. <laughs> Because you never know, but they look legit. Good docking, eh? Good docking. So I think we are on the right ferry. I'm quite sure there are a lot of locals here. And we just saw that this ferry also goes to Wat Arun. So we might check that out on our way back. There's a lot of whistling going on. <laughs> So the ferry should be going from down here all the way until the other side. This is our stop. Wait. Yeah, we had to get off really quickly. <laughs> but very efficient. Oh, there are a lot of snacks here. So we found these mini pancakes. Okay, so there are three different colors. Let's see if they taste any different to each other. Tastes like a pancake. <laughs> okay, and like a good pancake or? Yeah, it's nice. But I can't taste any other flavors. Mm. Maybe it's just coloring. Yeah, maybe. But they look pretty. And they're a good breakfast. So now we can move on to the more savory stuff. We'll see after, about that. After I finish. Yeah. Thank you. Just had to try this. Egg noodle and fried rice noodle, which is the classic, the classic egg noodle. Okay, then we will have this. Oh, should we take one with egg okay. noodle and one? Okay. This seems to be a Thai Chinese meatball soup, which also has some fish and some tofu in it. And we've ordered one spicy version and one classic version. So let's see. This is the spicy soup, and they have all kinds of pork and also tofu pieces in here. Um, but then also some balls. I'm not sure if this is tofu or pork, but actually let's try it. Still not sure. <laughs> got a really nice spice. And the flavor is really, really nice as well. It's not like a really deep and rich broth, more like a very light one, but it's got lots of flavor. I'll try a few more pieces here as well. This one already looked interesting in the window back there. A bit tasteless, but mm -hmm. I think together with everything in the soup, it's going to be really good. I like the truly red ball. It's definitely pork. <laughs> wow. You have to eat it like this. Of course. Yeah. That's how everyone does it here, trust me. Oh, the others do look a bit more graceful. Arguable. Oh, this is a nice lunch. It's not too filling. Super tasty. It's a good and appetizer. Yeah, good appetizer. <laughs> Alright, that's only slightly more graceful than how I did it. So while we just sat at the restaurant, Simon stormed to the toilet and I just saw how blood came running out of his nose. And yeah, then he stayed there for maybe 10 minutes and, and called me to get him some more tissues. And I had to ask the, the waitress if she gave me some more tissues. And I think everybody in this whole restaurant thought Simon had 
other problems in the bathroom. Yeah, it was a hilarious situation. It was so much blood. I don't know if it was because the soup was so spicy, but it just came pouring down and there weren't any tissues in the toilet at all. And so that was a fun time. So Thai tea is a classic Thai drink and it's served either hot or cold and it's made from strongly brewed black tea mixed with milk and then also sweetened with sugar or sweetened condensed milk. If you go with the classic version, it's a lot of sweetened condensed milk. Um, but I just went with a little bit of sugar and that's perfect then. And it's also perfect for a hot day like this. So the Wang Lang Market is like one very long street. Maybe that's why it's called La Long. Maybe not. Um, and then I think there's also like the parallel street. The main one also has tons of street food vendors and everything. But there are so many stalls already on this one main market street that I don't think we're going to be able to cover everything. So we had to move to this smaller alley because we didn't want to take off our masks to try these. But they are fish balls. They looked interesting. I'm not even a fan of fish patty, so it's gonna be interesting. This is gonna go. It but has some sauce on it. Yeah, there's some spicy sauce on it. You think it's spicy? Maybe it's fish sauce. Could be. Mmm. They're nice. Way better than I expected. They're spiced with some Thai herbs and I think the sauce on it is actually chili sauce. Yeah, they taste like bread curry in a patty somehow. The consistency is pretty squishy. But yeah, they've got a slight spiciness already to them. Pretty good snack. They have a red curry flavor. I don't know where it comes from. It's as if they put red curry paste into yeah, it. Yeah, maybe they, they did. Maybe they maybe did. They didn't. So just like with the Chatuchak weekend market, the food stalls are mixed in between all of these clothing shops. And so you've got a very broad variety of things you can buy here. It's very nice. Also because it's just one long street, you can't really get lost. Perfect. Okay. Self-explanatory a bit. And she said one has egg on it and the other one has coconut and salt on it. That's what I understood. Yeah, I think two of them are savory and two of them are sweet. That's yeah. how I understood it. Another side alley for us. I need to sanitize my hands first. Ready. <laughs> Looks like a layer of egg. Yeah. Looks very interesting. Well, it is a crispy crab. Mm -hmm. It also definitely has lemongrass on it and okay. it's interesting. I so haven't is it eaten the, anything like this before, is it which the, was the goal of today's Yeah, exactly, tour. that's good. So is it the sweet or the savory one? Couldn't say. <laughs> I think it's savory. The coconut is really interesting. It doesn't really taste like coconut. But does it taste good? Mm-hmm. The dough of the crab also tastes quite eggy. It's just a very interesting a delicious combination. So if that was the savory one, this has to be the sweet one. It smells a little bit sweet. But it's also got sesame seeds on top. Well, I can't guarantee you the other one was the yeah, savory one. I think it was. <laughs> this definitely is the sweet one. It's also very nice. The crepe is still quite savory because it has the sesame seeds. And then also I think it has some black cumin seeds in there, mm. like the ones you get in naan breads. So that reminds me of them a little bit. But the filling is not too sweet. What was the orange part? I thought it should be egg, but... Egg? Yeah. Does it taste like egg? It could be. I have no idea, unfortunately, what it is, but... It tastes really good, it's a nice snack, and also it's quite light. Shall we see if we get another dessert in? And then we're gonna be pretty full, I think. <laughs> Yeah. 
Looks really good. <laughs> okay, this just smelled so good. We couldn't resist. So these are Thai pancakes as well with some corn and coconut in the middle. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> they were really nice. Okay, it's very overwhelming here. Yeah? I think we need to find a quiet place to try our little coconut pancakes. So to try the pancakes, we found these nice benches here. It's a good place to relax a little bit because the market is pretty busy and also quite exhausting. Compared to the pancakes we had in the beginning, these are much thinner and then these are like two half circles on top of each other and they're filled with coconuts and corn. So I'm very interested to see what this tastes like. Oh. <laughs> There goes my filling. It was super nice. Really tasty with the coconut. I like them a lot. The coconut cream is a bit starchy and just a super nice mix. The Wang Lang Market is super cool. There's some really good street food to be had here and we enjoyed it a lot. And also it feels like a really authentic experience because we didn't see any other tourists. There are a lot of locals queuing at the stalls, so you always know which street food is popular and which is probably also safe to eat and yeah. you feel a lot less intimidated. So that's it from us for now. Please subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos of us exploring different cities here in Asia for the next months. And, and yeah, like the video and leave us a comment to let us know which other markets we should check out. This is getting pretty heavy, so see ya! Bye bye!